All right, hello. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to load the kernel on your Ace Card 2i. Uh, the Ace Card 2i works on DS, DS Lite, DSi, DSi Excel, and this Ace Card is actually from NDS, NDS Gamer.com. It's already pre-patched to work on ver firmware version 1.4.1 on your DSi. So if you upgraded your firmware on your DSi Excel to 1.4.1 then uh, you need the Acecar 2i. Uh, it's already pre-patched meaning it's already showing the Alex Rider icon. Uh, so it pretty much tricks the DSi into thinking it's an Alex Rider game. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to load the kernel. Um, I had made a video that was all in detail showing you step by step how to do it. It was about a 10 minute video. And then after I made it um, turns out the mic was off, even though I explained everything. So I decided just to go ahead and redo it and make it as quickly and as simple as it can get. Uh, this video is going to be probably the easiest video for you to load your Ace Card kernel on there than any other video out there. Um, I, it's super, super. There's no way you can get this wrong. Um, but it would only be for the kernel 1.8.1, which is the newest one. Okay. As you can see, this is uh, smooth right here. It has no bulge, meaning it is 100% uh, real. It's car 2i. The fake ones have a bulge right here. You can feel the chip. This one you can't feel no chip. Okay. Uh, okay, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and take this out. Get your micro SD card, which I'm going to be using a 4 gig micro SD. Okay. And get my adapter. Put it in here. Okay. Then I'm going to put in my SD slot in my computer. Then I'm going to show you what to do from there. Alright, this is your micro SD card. Go ahead and open it. As you can see, it's blank. First thing you need to do is format it. So I'm going to close it out. This is the format tool that you downloaded. I'm going to format the micro SD card first. Quick format. OK, exit. OK, now we're going to extract our uh, extract the kernel right here. Just go ahead and extract it to your desktop. You can either just drag it over or click right here where it says extract. Either one's fine. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and get this file, put it on our micro SD card. Let's close this out. Let's get our micro SD card, open my computer or computer, either one. Right here where it says uh, SD card, open that up. And then we're going to open the Ace Card 2i. A lot of people make this mistake, but they put this in here. Don't do that. Open it. This is everything we need right here. One at a time.
to copy them in there. This kernel is 1.8.1, so it's the newest kernel out for the Ace Car 2i. It's the unofficial kernel, uh, AKO, but it's it's a lot better than the official kernel. Uh, the unofficial kernel, AKO, it'll 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 play a lot more of the newer games. Uh, has a bit a better game compatibility than the official kernel does. So that's why I use the uh, unofficial kernel. Just keep that in mind. Once we do that, now we're done. Okay, I'm going to close this out. This is my micro SD card. Just make sure it looks like this, okay? This is what it should look like. If it looks any different than this, you didn't do something, you did something wrong somehow. Make sure it looks like this. Okay, now we're going to go right here. Right click. Right here where it says eject. Click eject. And now we're done. Just put it in your. Uh, Ace Card 2i and put it in your DS. Okay. Okay. This this uh, on the DS side it says Ace Card. On the DSi would show Alex Ryder icon. You just click on that. Same thing. Okay. And as you can see, we're AKO uh, release 1.8.1. Okay, and when it loads, it's going to show micro SD card. Okay, just click on that. Push A, push A again, and game folder. And right here, this first icon is uh, the uh, Moonshell 2 launcher. If you click A on this one, it'll launch our Moonshell program, which is our media player. So I can part the video. Back to the menu, to reset your system. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the game real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and do Batman. Now, of course, this is a 100% full version game. No difference in any of the features. It'll still be Wi-Fi, multiplayer, uh, same exact graphics. There's it's no difference in gameplay whatsoever. A lot of people ask me, well, how come I'm able to, you're able to fit, you know, how come the file size is so small just on a full version game? Well, if you, if you really think about it, the screen of the DS Lite is really small compared to a TV, compared to an Xbox 360 game, which is about 4, four gigabytes, uh, because it's going on a big screen TV. So the size of the screen really makes a big difference on the file size. Okay, well, I won't make this video too long. Uh, I try to make it as quickly as possible and also as easy as possible. Um, and of course, if you don't know where to get the game, just buy any Ace card or any other flash card from ndsgamer.com. And they'll, uh, on the confirmation email after you make your purchase, they'll send you the, there'll be a link in the email uh, linking you to a website that gives you everything for free. Uh, the DS games, the music videos in the movies you can download all that for free no survey no, no survey site nothing like that it's all 100 percent free